you want to heal nations and you just want to stand up speak one or two scripture talk for five minutes and stand and tell people to stand up on a wheelchair no sir all things are finished in christ but the price for alignment to receive it and make it work in your life you will need to submit yourself for prayer submit yourself to prayer submit yourself to prayer if you are a man of god here let me charge you by the message of god obtain grace from god wake up in the night when others are snoring for god's sake for the sake of your destiny if it is power with god you desire wake up in the night and pray don't pray just to ease guilt don't just pray to show people you are prayerful no pray something happens to you as you pray there is an activation that happens as you pray you see what you see today is a cumulative of many years of consistency in prayer it's not two weeks it's not one year it's not 10 years it's not 15 years it's a cumulative every time you go to pray see yourself signing a register in the spirit joshua selman present your majesty i'm here Shamaka Paragata. no one is seeing you tomorrow again joshua selman present obtaining grace from you as my commitment i want to be such a host of your grace joshua selman next week present sir joshua selman present sir come on your voice is known in the realm of the spirit. As you shout that present, demons are hearing too. As you are shouting present, principalities are hearing. When you stand before men, you are not pretending. One shout, they know it's a familiar voice. They know the sound of that voice. And they know the power that that voice carries. They know the power. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Prayer. Fellowship with the spirit. Turning you to a sign and a wonder. A man of power in the spirit. A man of power in the spirit. Activating manifold graces. Activating manifold graces. Every grace you carry is prayer dependent for its activation. Every grace you carry, I don't care what dimension of grace. It is prayer dependent for its activation. The grace for favor, prayer dependent. The grace for influence, prayer dependent. Signs and wonders, prayer dependent. Wealth and abundance, prayer dependent. Take a minute and pray. Sign that register in the spirit. Building yourselves. On your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost you want God to give you the keys of nations you must submit yourself to prayer my sister submit yourself to prayer my brother submit yourself to prayer man of God this laziness spiritually you won't go far that way it takes prayer someone pray Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Ela baka para kata sabrakatesh, rakata prakate balakate paros. Stewards of the manifold grace. Businessman pray. Businesswoman pray. Pray. Consistently pray. Consistently travail non-pretentiously pray worshiper pray apostle pray prophet pray
banker pray politician pray legal practitioner pray prayer with fastings pray prayer with dedications holding on to the altar generating power multiplying grace generating power apostolic power generating power multiplying grace activating manifold graces manifold graces manifold graces until you become a sign and a wonder a sign and a wonder until you embody favor until you embody liftings until you embody restoration one more minute you are praying Ela malaga baratos sabra kata balaga tas krakata parakata balakata rapata branda balakata braskates la pratega barakatos e prakato pariata pas activate angels in prayer activate the hearts of men in prayer command possibilities in prayer rewrite your destiny in prayer define your possibilities in prayer change narratives in prayer build stamina in prayer sagada balagata rakata pranta kapara kotos la pranta parakata prakatos la grapas kata balaka pariakata tear down the walls of shame and reproach tear down the walls of human biases and limitations tear down the walls of sentiments and prejudices go ahead and pray sada balaka parukatas grabada balaka tas Skada balaka parakatos, soda balentas, ibrati kaparatos, skada branta kaparakos, elabaratos ko prende kapa, so prende parakos, lega prati kapa, ekra kata parakatos, soda balada bakata branta kaparakatos. Sada balendas, skabra da balaka da balakotos. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout again, say light. light. Can you show me the scriptures that support the healing anointing you carry? Can you show me the scriptures that support the ministry of Jesus you want to replicate? Can you show me the ministry that, su that supports your being prosperous? Empty-handedness. Nothing is done in this ministry without scripture. No. The believer's life is bound to scripture and the operations of God as revealed in scripture. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. You know it. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. You see, one day I was in the place of meditation. When the Lord began to speak to me that there is such a grace for speed. And I said, speed? Who exemplifies that grace for speed? Well, if there's nobody, at least the Holy Ghost is here. And there were two scriptures that fired into my spirit. I remember Esther chapter 2 and verse 8, 8 and 9. Speed. That is a dimension of God's favor. Verse 9, please. Give it to us. 
the bible says and the maiden esther pleased him and she obtained kindness of him and he speedily gave her the things for her purification that when men obtain favor part of its expression is speed speed genesis chapter 27 jacob isaac is about to bless his son and jacob pretends to be esau and he said how is it that you have returned so quickly he said it's because the lord had brought it unto me so speed is a reality speed is a reality lord i receive it i contend for speed do you believe what you are hearing let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen the graces you have received even from this house is enough to have distinguished you but many of us are not careful to attract manage multiply and even activate it through light i listen to every teaching that comes from here it doesn't matter that i am the one who god is using i listen to it because every communication of the spirit has grace behind it I listen to improve myself, but I also listen to receive. When is the time to pray? It is not apostle listening to apostle. No, it is me, a believer, receiving from a man of God. Are we together? Yeah. Yesterday morning, I listened to last month's um, miracle service. All of the prayer and the prophetic words, God is my witness. I was on my knees on start to, from start to finish shouting amen with all my heart to every prophetic word that came look results are not don't doubt if you are not working it then don't blame god for it not working in your life you must activate this thing by light someone say light shout again say light please be a student of scripture don't just shout around saying, I know this one, that the Jew laid hands on me. I even sat down in his car. Bishop Oedeko, I met him somewhere. He laid hands on me. When I was coming, Papa Kumuyi laid hands on me. This one laid hands on me. Thank God for that. But men will only turn to idols in your life if you don't support your impartation by, with scripture. Are we together? Let me tell you the truth everything that is not working in your life it is because the grace for it is not there or the grace for it is not yet activated and the number one diagnosis like you are learning tonight is light along the area of that grace the grace you desire if you are broke and finances is not working don't argue and insult rich people you are broke you are broke in christ you are not broke but physically, financially, institutionally, as your account balances, you are broke there. Come to terms early and say there is a way out. I need to get out of this shame and not keep giving excuses. If there is someone in my same Nigeria and God is exalting that person, Lord, I take responsibility. The blessing is upon me. I need to give evidence to it through my obedience. Go and get the right materials. As you are listening, light will come upon your spirit. And that grace may even be grace that is already there. Suddenly it is activated. And someone says, I've been looking for you for five years. Where are you? God said, I should send you 10 million. And you receive that 10 million and say, it's a lie. It is, then it happens again. Then it happens again. Then you know that the grace has truly come and you know that the grace is working let me tell you the truth everything that is not yet working in your life can work if you want it can work if you want it can work if you want it can work favor power grace influence results can work if you want it koinoni are we learning mm. can work if you want it can work if you want it. Alakuski ataba. Can work if you want it. I read a scripture about God anointing Jesus with the Spirit without measure, and I said I I I read about Oral Robert and the way he would lay hands on over three to five thousand people one by one, 
and I said, well, I respect him and I thank God for the way God worked with him. But I don't have the grace to start laying hands on everybody one by one. You see, I may die young doing that and I'm not ready for that kind of thing. But I now read the story of Moses that from one place he stood and the spirit upon him fell on 70 people without him touching them one by one. I said, this is a dimension. It's still the ministry of the spirit. It's the one your faith chooses. If, I, if there is an opportunity for ease, why not? Then I also read about Jesus. He breathed on the people and said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. I said, that means there is an, a more efficient way of communicating spirit things. If you have an opportunity to lay hands, that's wonderful. But that you can speak from one point. But that grace was activated. It multiplies through light. Man of God, you are called into the healing ministry truly. You are called into the prophetic ministry truly. Have you studied the prophets in the Bible? Have you studied them? Don't just say a prophet laid hands on me. Have you studied the prophets in the Bible? There were, there were ungodly prophets in the Bible. Prophets of Baal, they were godly prophets. Which one have you studied? How do you know the difference? How do you know a familiar spirit is not using you? Are we together? Businessman, you want the grace that builds. Have you studied the life of Solomon? Solomon built. Have you studied the life of Joseph? Joseph built. Have you studied the life of Joseph of Arimathea? He built. There were many people who built in the Bible. You have not activated that investment of the spirit, that dimension of grace by light. I'm praying for you. Whatever is fighting your access to light, whatever is stopping you from having the discipline to sit down and study till light comes into your spirit, I command that resistance to leave you now. Do you know? Look at me. Let me tell you the truth. There are many believers today who don't even have a good Bible, whether electronically or otherwise. There are men of God who only have a Bible that was given to them as a gift. Some of the chapters are torn. Your respect for light determines the degree of grace that works for you. Your respect for light. Your respect for light. Your respect for light. Another person will not be submitting himself to scripture, laboring with prayer and fastings, and you are there watching movies from morning till night till forever, and you want to walk at the same level of grace. God is not mocked. Ladies and gentlemen, it says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth. Are we together? You can sow to the spirit and of the spirit reap life everlasting. You can sow to the flesh and of the flesh reap corruption. By this teaching, God is telling someone, wake up. Don't be shouting and saying, I have a great destiny. You will wake up to make it happen. When you wake up, then you sit down. Open up scripture. Lord, you are sending me as a healing evangelist to the nations. So that I don't become a casualty to myself. What are the keys to the healing anointing? Get books. Healing the sick. Charles and Francis Hunter. Books by T.L. Osborne. Books by veterans of healing. Not talkers of it. Men and women whose lives embodied authentic healing ministry. Stay with it. Camp with it. Camp with it. Until light breaks forth. And I tell you one day, it is your own books that people will be drawing from. They will say because of the spectacular investment upon this life, it is important that we come and read. It is important that we come and study. Many times people see me and say, Apostle, write books now. Write books and I tell them, wait. There is something I need to have to enrich what I want to write. I don't want to write nonsense. I want to write something that can bless a generation. That when we tell you this is a way God has used our life to show, you will walk on that way, on that path, and find life indeed. Spirit of revelation.
I saw a lot of organizations suffer. Suffer in terms of lack of help. And because at the infancy of ministry, I also suffered it. I said, no, it's not a good thing to be anointed and to be incapacitated financially. I told you, if you are incapacitated financially, you will steal, you will tell lies, and most likely you will compromise. And I didn't want any of the three. And I said, Lord, there is a way out. I humble myself. I admit that I do not know. Nobody is born with knowledge. It is acquired by passion and pursuit. Transformation is not an inheritance. You don't inherit transformation. Everybody contends for it. And if there is something wrong with your mindset, if it is empty or you are wrong, you have wrong beliefs, you can change. For someone here, let me tell you, stop trying to learn everything in the Bible at once. Even if you're a man of God, take it one by one. You can dedicate the month of July. Since you see that the healing ministry is part of the requisite graces, the signature graces you will need. Why don't you camp with the healing ministry? Use the month of July. Your personal study should be the healing ministry of the Spirit. Get materials. Get videos. Get scriptures. Study. As you invest yourself studying, something will come upon you. Light from heaven. One night you may be the only one studying and God will show you a scripture nobody has seen or not seen the way you are seeing it. And that becomes the anchor scripture for a global healing ministry. Who is God speaking to? Pray in the spirit in one minute. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Pray in the spirit in one minute. The manifold grace of God attracted, multiplying, establishing your life by your contention for illumination. Contend for it. Contend for it. Contend for light. Contend for light. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Number two. The second way we attract, we multiply, and we activate the manifold graces is by the investment of quality time praying in the spirit. Listen carefully. The investment of quality time praying in the spirit is a very potent way of activating graces. Investment of quality time praying in the spirit. Not just speaking scripture. It's wonderful. There is a place for that. But quality time praying in tongues, praying in the spirit, you activate graces, you multiply graces. Hmm, this is true. This is true. This is true. It's not about fanatism. There are people who pray amiss, but I am telling you within the boundary of understanding, when you learn to invest quality time praying in the spirit, if you are in this place and you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of praying in tongues, tonight can be a chance for you. The prayer department is there. There are people in their variety who can minister to you. This is not about being a Pentecostal or charismatic. People have abused this tongue thing. It has become so irritating. People do not even want to delve around that area. There, there is a decent spiritual way of engaging the prayer language of the spirit such that it profits you. Show me a man who knows how to pray in the spirit and is willing to discipline himself. There is no gift of prayer. There is a grace for prayer and supplication. It only empowers you but the energy comes from you. You will pray and pray with energy. You will feel it as you pray but because of the joy that is set before you. The grace for signs and wonders. Bringing evidence to your Christian work. You're a man of God here, receive it. It takes power to give witness to the resurrection. I pray for you. Fearful evidences of God's grace. Striking testimonies. Begin to experience it in your life.
begin to experience it in ministry begin to experience it in your life extraordinary wonders may it be wrought through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that draws men the gift of men please everybody receive this one the gift of men so that you don't struggle for nothing there has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again in the name of Jesus may someone be interested in your matter may someone be interested in your rising may someone be interested in your shining may someone be interested in your restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously whether it's ministerial value professional value business value in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you by this grace that comes upon you now everybody who needs what you carry I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny in the name of Jesus the Bible says "Doth not wisdom cry I'm praying for you the era of foolish decisions trouble making decisions destiny pegging decisions by this impartation of wisdom may you begin to make superior decisions superior decisions decisions one decision that you will make you will leap five years forward five years forward five years forward in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare favor whether you go out whether you come in whether you are in Nigeria whether you are outside Nigeria may that favor compel men to help you speedily compel men to help you speedily let me pray for your finances in the name that is above all names I'm praying for you may God do something in your life between now and the end of July that will change your finances honestly if you have the faith to believe this may God do something in your life may God raise a man may God bring an idea may God make your proposal pass through by any godly means arise to a new financial status rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing I say it again rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing you will lend to nations in the name of Jesus Christ may my God give you treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places let me pray for you when a season where Satan seems to be cutting the life of people short when people are just about to emerge to a new layer in ministry and destiny they just die like that I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus you shall not die receive it or you shall not die not by sickness not by accident not by witchcraft not by oppression anybody cooking up enchantment against you let it backfire back to them in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again anyone fraternizing with hell that you must die this year their evil returns back to them 